Sky TV that has uh, Motor Trend and all that. Do you guys ever know. watch those shows back uh, where you are? No, on the on the web maybe. But we have oh, Discovery. Okay. Discovery, yeah. okay, okay. Discovery. Discovery TV. You see, Discovery TV in Europe, I think, is more car oriented than with us. See, here with us, it's we get naked and afraid. That's basically what we get. So we have that too. No, not yeah, personally. I, I get the same thing from Peg every night. Hi-oh! <laughs> Thank you! Hey everybody! Once again, it's time to welcome you to the Big Talking About Cars podcast where everybody, including all of us, have a car story. We may even tell you about a few of them, absolutely true. I'm Randy Cardoon, and uh, again, talking to you from our Zoom location at the beautiful but stunning Two Tired Guys Los Angeles studio, oddly enough, in Los Angeles, California. And right there, we have our good buddy, Hot Rod Bob Beck. He's in our Talking About Cars Ventura County studio where it's gorgeous weather and no oh, smoke. Yeah. Right? No, no smoke. No smoke. It's nice no. and clear, 70 degrees. Beautiful day. Good to hear, Bob. Yeah. Good to hear. I, I'm in our satellite location because I'm a space case. With a lot of stars circulating mm -hmm. around it. And yes. on this show from time to time. So we do pretty well with that, I think. Yeah. We do, definitely. So, so we're going to have a, another interesting show today. I think you'll like it. Uh, this time around, we're gonna, we, we've had several, and this is one beautiful thing about Zoom. We've had several people on the show from Europe, basically. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, Steph Holloway from... Uh, uh, I drive a classic. She's been on the show. We've we've discussed uh, some other things with some other people from uh, other countries. Uh, we've talked about uh, automotive stuff in Australia with the regular car guys. Yeah. So we thought it might be interesting to bring on some friends of ours who we met at SEMA actually um, most recently, and they are from Sweden. Correct. That's Sweden. correct. Yep. Good friends of ours. I remember Good exactly who ours. they are. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely almost maybe. We know them, yes. Okay. We've walked by them once or twice. In At least, the, yes. At least. So they probably know who we are, you know, and probably say they owe us money or we owe them money. I don't really remember how that works. But uh, we're going to be talking to Jessica and Jonas Lundberg. Lundberg. Lundgren. Lund we're going to be talking to Jessica and Jonas Lundgren. Yeah, our, our good friends. <laughs> we go way back. We go way back. At least Lundgren. last week. <laughs> Lundgren. Jessica and Jonas Lundgren. Gobble. Our buddies. From back in the day. Yes. Like 2000 and what, 18? Yeah, at least. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was 19. Did we? Oh, no, actually, it was 19. This is even worse. It was you meeting him in 19. I'd met him before because they come to the California Hot Rod reunion every year. Okay. And I would meet them there, and they're friends of other friends of ours, uh, the Pete Millar group, uh, Robin Millar. She uh, met them when she lived in Sweden as a child. And they've been friends all these years, and they're car people, and American car people in Sweden. Okay. And she was a hardcore drag racer. They raced the blown 1934 Chevrolet. And for about six or seven years, Perfect. they still got it in the garage, but they both started working uh, in drag racing in Sweden as officials. We'll be talking to them in just a little bit. They work okay. for the Swedish Drag Racing Commission. What's the uh, what's the shirt you're wearing, as long as we have a moment? What? Well, that's uh, the Bowling Green, the Holly National Hot Rod Reunion. Okay. And uh, that's one of the events I do for NHRA every year. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, this year, because of COVID, we haven't done any of them. So yeah. no hot rod reunions. This is the first time in well, almost 28 years 
that we've not had one. Oh, wow. So it's interesting. Okay, NHRA started the California Hot Rod Reunion nearly 28 years ago, I believe, or 29 years ago. And then it morphed into two additional Hot Rod Reunions, one in Epping, New Hampshire, I believe it is, and one in uh, Bowling Green. Well, the New Hampshire one never really took off like they wanted it to, but Bowling Green did. And it's a beautiful facility, three days of racing, people coming from all over the country to it. So it and the California Hot Rod Reunion seem to be the, the two big nostalgia events of the year here in the United States. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, COVID has uh, shut them both down for the year. Okay. So. Well, that, that is sad. It's shut down a lot of things for the year, yeah. too. All right. So uh, we're going to bring on Jessica and Jonas Lundgren. Lundgren, yes. Lundgren, they're going to be joining us. Bob, how would you like to bring them on board? You now, do you want to clap? What do you? You're, you're a creative guy. You want I'm to like? I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to give some good reactions to them when they come on. So they'll be here well, with us. Sure, they might as well bring them on now. So he why could. don't you? Why don't you like make some? You know, like so we could do like the magical entrance. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live and direct, recorded at an earlier time, it's Jessica and Jonas Lundgren. We didn't record this at an earlier time. No, we didn't, did we? No, we're well, bringing them on. We're I mean, bringing we them recorded on it at an we earlier time, yes. but if they're you're actually listening. going to be with us live. They are like going we're... to be, yes, we're not going to stuff them. They're going to be live. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live and direct from the... Two Talking Guys production studios. Uh, no, I can't do two that. Two Talking I? Guys? Two, you two, I got two Did you already together. bring Oh, we are so sad. We've not only that, we've lost our dentures <laughs> on our own sh- production company. I uh, just brushed my teeth and I can't do a thing with oh, them. Oh, God. God. Gosh. <laughs> well, before, before we lose everybody on the audience, go ahead and let it rip. All right. I'm Hot Rod Bob along with Randy Cardoon, and we are getting ready to do Talking About Cards with Jonas and Jessica Lundgren all the way from Sweden. Da-da-da! And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Technology is a wonderful thing. In just a matter of seconds, all the way from Sweden, here's Jonas and Jessica, and they're right here live for you. Okay, I'll go yes. with that. Sure. There we go. <laughs> Hi, guys. And uh, Hi. Just a, thanks for joining us here on the Talking About Cars podcast. And tell us a little bit. Well, you know, I'm noticing you guys are all bundled up, whereas I know it's late in the evening where you are. Where we are, it's usually warm and ridiculous. Tell us a little bit about the weather out there. It's starting to get in winter here. In about a couple of weeks, we're starting to get snow. <laughs> Oh. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Wow. So, uh, you you drive a fifty five Chevrolet. Oh yeah. She uh, does. Yeah. She uh, <laughs> Jessica does. Okay. Are you gonna drive that through the winter? Oh no. Oh no. no, no. So it goes in the garage. Yes. Okay. How but big of a garage do you have? How many cars? Oh um six, seven, I think. Two little a garage. Seven car garage? No, no, Honey, no, 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 no. we're moving to Sweden. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, no, what? No. I think we uh, we have to spread them out to different places under okay. the winter. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. but you're you're unique in that you are hot rodders, and, and you're in Sweden. So we're what we're trying to get a, a picture of hot rodding. A lot of people that watch us and listen to us think about hot rodding in the United States, but don't realize that it's pretty universal worldwide. And you guys are a prime example. We met at the California Hot Rod Reunion a number of years ago when you guys come in and you are heavily involved in racing as well as hot rodding in Sweden. And there's a good car population there of a lot of people like you. Tell us a little bit about what the car scene is like where you are. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking that? Yes. Okay. You are. <laughs> uh, the car scene is not like California. No. Uh, um, playing with the uh, old cars in Sweden is a bit ugly. Environment stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And, but, but it's starting to get, uh, what do you call it, acceptable. But it's, okay. it's, a, big, it's, a, it's a big thing. Hot rodding and drag racing is a big thing in Sweden. Yes. 
All right. And you're involved you had a, a 34 Chevrolet, or you still have it, a 34 Chevrolet drag car, correct? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> it's a 34 Chevy with a big block, blown big block with alcohol. All right. And what kind and of device? Where do you get a 34 Chevy in Sweden? Where did you get it from and how did that come about? You bought it in Norway. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Okay. Import. It's an import. imported from Norway. <laughs> the engine we bought from Canada. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So it's a really international car. Yeah. Okay, so wait a minute. Was the car originally from, this may sound crazy to some people, but was this originally from Norway? Where, where, what's the car's history? No. How did it get to where the you got that? I think it's from America. <laughs> yeah. That would make sense. Yes. Okay. And okay. somehow it ended up in Norway and uh, it started the process to be a race car for about, I think, 30 years or something like that. Whoa. Then it, um, the guy in Norway had it a long time and it, he building out on it all the time. So now it's a, uh, the 750 chassis on it, tube, okay. full tube chassis. Mm -hmm. All right, now is it a steel car or a fiberglass car? Steel car. Okay, so it's a real steel, steel Chevy. It's a real okay. Chevy, steel yeah. Chevy, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, your involvement in drag racing started when? Uh, for me, seriously, about 2000. Okay. What and motivated you to get involved like that? uh okay you mean okay i start racing really serious about 2000 uh, involvement in uh, drag racing for really hands-on was i don't know 10 years ago yeah, about 10 years ago i think okay how, how involved are you you said you're involved on the uh on the on the operational side of drag racing now yeah we are both in uh, the swedish uh, Drag Racing Commission right now. Okay. So what exactly do you guys do? Your commission would be the equivalent of our NHRA? Uh, yeah, but in smaller scale, of course. Sure. Of course. And yeah. what, do you, what do you guys do? I mean, each of you have different jobs, but what are they? My job in the commission is uh, to planning uh, education okay. for drivers and uh, for the... The, 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 the staff. The staff. Oh, staff personnel. Yeah. Okay. And, and Try just to coordinate, uh, to coordinate uh, education. Oh, so you're looking the at the technical side, the the safety side. You're yes. getting your, your staff up uh -huh. to speed on what needs to yes. be done. Yes. I coordinate the that. I don't know everything about the the security and. The, all the tech spec or something like that, but I coordinate that so it's happening. Okay. Try to. All right, Jess, what do you do? Well, at the commission, I'm the secretary. Okay. And at the tracks, I'm a steward. Oh, okay. So I'm an FIA steward. So I have been working at the Santa Pod Raceway. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And that's, that's, right. that's in the UK, correct? Yes. Okay. And, and how long? It, have you both been involved the same amount of time or who got involved first? I think you did. Maybe about me, yes. Yeah. 95, I think I started to work at the tracks. Okay. You start working on the tracks before me. Yeah. I, was just, yeah. I was just a racer. <laughs> who, who had the classic yeah. car first? Who had the classic American car first? Me. You did. Ah, yeah. Now, was that the 55 Chevy or what was your first classic no, car? No, it was a 68 Camaro. Okay. I bought that 1986. All right. Now, I've seen pictures of the front of your house. And I just saw a, a picture of an early Chevy C10 with the Drag Cartoons logo on the door. And you put you called it Long Art or Yard Art. Yard art. No. yard art. <laughs> well, you know what yard art is, Bob. Yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. they they park it in the they park it on the uh, front lawn and let flowers go. You know, grow right. through. Right. Correct. No, no flowers. They are working cars. They're working oh, they cars. are. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So, what what do you drive on a daily basis? What's your everyday car? 
mine is a Chevy pickup, 1995. Okay. I bought it in uh, Ontario, California last year. Oh, okay. Hey, my, uh, they, uh, Go back to that Camaro, the 68 Camaro. Where did that come from? Because I'll get to your car just in a second. I, I want to know, where did that 68 Camaro come from and and that story? Because, you know, to, why a 68 Camaro? How did that happen? Uh, I was uh, 17 at the time. Um, it was just a coincidence. It was for sale. I have the money. It was nearby. Nearby, Arnsjölsvik. Okay. You don't want to go there. No, <laughs> no. I've told you that, Bob. You never want to go there. No. I've tried going there once, but I got lost. That's right. Okay. So, yeah. It was it was close by to buy it, and I was okay. young, and it was, and it's uh, slowly, slowly get a pretty fast street racer of it. Street racer. Okay, so you. Uh, um, mm -hmm. A little bit, huh? But it, was, oh, it, was, it was long time ago. Long time ago. Okay, yeah, Jessica, yeah, yeah. what really happened? I can see what this, this I can see his <laughs> stories going nowhere. What What's the real story? I really, I don't know about that car. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That was before my time, so. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, what made you What made you go to a Camaro? I mean, you're in Sweden. There's Volvos, there's Saabs, there's all sorts of other cars from from the European nations, but you went for an American car. V8. V8, huh? Okay. Um, more, more, power. Power. <laughs> more power, yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. And it was nearby. I that blows me away. Where did they get it from? We have American cars here. <laughs> no, you don't. We have a lot Not of a sixty eight Camaro. I mean Yes. You we really have a lot of sixty yes. They but it, it's a really common car here. They came okay. here new? Yeah. Yes. People imported so them. Some of them. Okay. okay. So a lot of people imported American cars. So the American car scene is pretty popular there. Yeah, it is. It's not unusual to find an old classic American car here. Okay. But during the summertime, during the good weather, uh, are there car shows or cruise nights and things yes. that people bring their cars out to? Yes, but not in the same extension as you have. You have almost every day. We have maybe once a month, something like that. Okay. Or once a week. We we that would be withdrawal for us, Bob. Yeah, that would be. We would be going through. See, I keep thinking of conversations we've had where Chevrolets here are known as Vauxhalls <laughs> in the UK. They're known as Opals yeah. in Germany, but. They never came up with a Vauxhall Camaro or a Opal Camaro, did they? No. No, it's Chevrolet yeah. Camaro. Chevrolet Camaro, yes. Which could have very well have been bought new in Sweden. Yes, they sold them spot new in Sweden, yes. Hold on just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. <laughs> so, Jess, what do you drive on a daily basis? What's your, what's your everyday car? Well, I have my 55, of course. Yeah. And then I have my Chevy Tahoe. Tahoe, American okay. So you're, you're a Chevy family. I mean, the race car is a Chevy. Jonas drives a, a Chevy truck. You drive a, a Chevy truck. Uh, and you said you got about eight cars, seven or eight cars. What kind of cars do you have? Do you have any um, cars that we would think were domestic for you or? Is it all uh, American? I don't course? understand the question. I don't understand the question. What are you I'm not even sure I do. What was that? What, all right. What are, what are the cars you have? You got the 34 Chevy. You got the Tahoe. You've got the pickup truck. What, what else is in there? The 55. The 55. Okay. Great pickups. Six, 64 Chevy pickup, 68 Chevy pickup. Okay. Oh. All right. So those are the ones I saw the pictures of that you had on Facebook recently. And uh, actually, the 64 was behind a tow truck. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's Jessica. The first one that we could call. Yeah. Jessica, why a 55 Chevy? <laughs> why not? Well, was it your idea or, or Jonas's? 
or Both. did you, was it Both. nearby and you happened to see it on a street and said, <laughs> I want that? Or did you have to come to the US and get it? Or did you see a movie with it in there and you said, I want one of those one day? Where did the whole 55 thing get implanted in your we, brain? We have always liked 55 Chevys, okay. but never have one. Then we was in California one year, two years ago. We were driving from San Diego to Los, Los Angeles and saw an ad on Craigslist. Oh. And I think we bought, bought it in a car wash in Lakewood or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> car wash in Lakewood. Okay. Yeah. Late at night. Yeah. Late, late at night. Late huh? at night. Yeah. Okay. In Lakewood. Yes. Under, yeah. under a solitary light shining yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Brown paper That's bag exchange. A bit sketchy. And... That <laughs> sounds yeah, so safe, doesn't it, Bob? Yeah, I, I would be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Crazy Swedes, you know. Wow. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, 55, what model 55 Chevy is it? Because I've only seen it from the dashboard forward. Okay. It's a handman. It's a two door station wagon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Those are very desirable. Yeah. All right, what, uh, engine transmission, what's it got? You know that. Uh, Chevy, Chevy is small block, 350, 350. Okay. All right. Nothing fancy, really mild stuff. So we've seen pictures of, well, let's go to the racing itself. I mean, we've seen pictures of even the European drag race championships. And just to give a little background, as I understand it now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the drag race championships in Europe are basically, you get racers from four countries. You get, what is it, the UK, Sweden, Finland and Germany, is that it? And yes. Norway. And Norway. And Denmark. Yeah. Okay. Norway, yeah. where, by the way, this podcast actually rates <laughs> according to pod charts. <laughs> Hi, my friends in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> Get your friends in Sweden and the Netherlands to watch us. But that's another story. <laughs> uh, it's, they use all sorts of interesting cars as well. I is because we see a lot of uh, really huge drag racing vehicles with covers on it. We do see some old classics from time to time, uh, but I've seen some pictures of them using uh, VW, what is it? Is it a Polo, the VW there, or is that the Honda? Yeah. It's VW Polo, uh, not, right? not so much in Sweden, no. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the most common uh, race car in, uh, you, in Sweden is uh, American-made V8s. Okay. Yeah. Do you have difficulty getting parts and such for them? Or is that something that's uh, available? No, no, it is not, not a problem. We can, we can order from, for example, Summit Racing and we have the stuff here for a week or something like that. Oh, okay. You're probably ordering more from Summit than I am. I know that for sure. That's for, yeah. that's for sure. So uh, yeah. it's nice to know Summit's getting some business from Summit. No, <laughs> I'm, I usually don't buy from Summit either. <laughs> oh, by the way, this program. I buy them still, when we visit you guys. By the oh, way, okay. this program is not being sponsored by <laughs> some <laughs> some <laughs> racer. <yeah. laughs> Although I have to say, this is probably more than we've talked about them than ever before. But hey, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> Yes, if you want it to be advertised by Summit Racing, call Summit Racing. Call tell them you heard about them from the Talking About Cars podcast for no apparent reason. <laughs> and, and the two tired guys. <laughs> and the two tired guys we, productions. We have race shops in Sweden, too. We have shops who sell racing parts. Oh, okay. Ah. Now, what got you interested in American cars besides the fact they had V8s and power? Was it the styling? Was it, was it just, uh, you know, it's like for us – in some cases, the import cars draw a certain crowd to them. The Chevys draw a crowd. The Fords draw a crowd. They all have their followers. Were you always an American car follower growing up? Talking for me, yes. I think it was the sound. Mm -hmm. When I grew up, just across the street, we have a, do you call it a car painter? What do you call it? Yeah, he painted so. cars. And he painted yeah. lots of American cars. Okay. And I was on my tricycle and saw them. That okay. was enough. All right. So you got involved with, when you were a kid. It, you got enamored yeah. to the cars. You got yeah. drawn to them because of the styling and yes. the sounds. Okay. Yes. And my, Jessica, my, Jessica. 
Jessica, yeah. it's Jonas's fault that you like American cars, right? <laughs> no, I think I started before I met him <laughs> quite really? early. Tell us yeah. that story. Oh my God, you don't want to hear that, but well. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> It's no, about, it's it's a long story. <laughs> well, we've got time. I could edit it. <laughs> you think? Yeah, no. anything's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I can say, um, I think the same as Jonas, but I didn't have a neighbor that painted cars, but I love the sound and uh, the looks of the cars and everything. So. Right. Do you get the same type of hot rodding and racing magazines that we get here? Or are there specialty magazines there that uh, address the American car interests? Yes, we have Swedish magazines who address American cars, yes. And was that one of the things that helped influence you? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we know you're both involved in racing. What do you do when you're not racing besides trying to stay warm? <laughs> <laughs> Works. What do you do for work? <laughs> oh, not that question. <laughs> I, I, I uh, work in a big factory and try to keep up the maintenance and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. And Jess, well, and Jess what do you do? Uh, try to keep the house clean and fix food for Jonas <laughs> so it doesn't oh, start. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he looks so undernourished. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's, okay, does, does anybody bring their hot rods to the local grocery store to, uh, to you know, show them mm -hmm. off or bring their you do. Oh, you do. Yeah. So whenever the, whenever the weather's good, you dri you're driving your 55. Absolutely. And what reaction do you get from a lot of people? Oh, everybody turns the he their heads around and look at the car and most old guys come to the car and oh you you have a nice car it, okay that's true it happens every time she parked Most the car of the old some guys yeah, yes, it is. Old guys. what do the young really? guys say anything no no they just look no they haven't figured yeah. it out yet well, so how, <laughs> how old is an old guy to you us <laughs> <laughs> No, older than you guys. Older, so. older she thinks than us. She thinks we're young. Okay. Yeah, of course. Bob, just let it go. I'll let it go. Yeah. No, no, no. Just let her keep talking. Go ahead. What about those old farts? What exactly do yeah. they? Uh, how? Yeah. Do they have a cane? That's what we need to know. Yeah. So they come up to you. They say, you know, when I was a kid, I had one of these, or my neighbor did. Or no, like they usually that. say my father did. So. Okay. Yeah, but they are, they are really cool old guys that comes out and okay. talk about the cars and yeah. Yeah, yeah just like us, yeah. <laughs> well, Usually they saw you bouncing back and forth and she goes, wait a minute, I've seen that before. Yeah, I've seen that old guy do that before, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're so, so silly the, the people who are racing out there uh the drag racers it, you know it's interesting that it comes from various countries because here in the u.s while you may have a bunch of racers from california and some from carolina and all that i think it's and correct me if i'm wrong is it different when it comes from your country racing a guy from germany or, or Finland, or, I mean, are there rivalries in drag racing as far as countries? Of battles? course. Who, who is uh, Sweden's most hated rival in drag racing? I, no, 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 no. No hated rival? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like Finland who tries to, you know, no, say things? No, no, no. 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 It, it's a, in, in, in Europe, it's, um, what do you call it? You can't make money in drag racing. Well, you can't here either. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> no, you can, you can do, make money in drag racing in the U.S. Okay. You can That's do that. But in, well, yeah. in Sweden, it's not no money. Then people, it's just, it's just a hobby. Okay, so it's, a, it's more of a it's hobby. It's an hobby. But you get, uh, uh -huh. like, uh, uh, was it Michaela, the, uh, the lady that's a top fuel champion? her regular job that runs top fuel dragsters. She was a European champion uh, yeah. last year when I was there. She's a, a chicken rancher or farmer. Yeah, in Finland. In Finland. Yeah. 
Okay. And yep. uh, other people that run Top Fuel or the bigger classes, is there much like soccer rivalries? You have this country's team is the rival of this country's team. How do, we, no. do you have that? No. 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 I'm trying to throw the whole team rivalry thing in. Thing no. Okay. Yeah. No, no rivalry. So you know, no rivalry. You know who asked me? People are helping each other. Okay. okay. People want to race the, 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 they want to race each other. They help with parts and serving with hands and everything. Okay. So it's, it's more it's, like uh, the sportsman racing here. Where Absolutely. It's, it's Even at top fuel. Even in yeah. South Field, it's, it's more friendly. It's not the, the big rivalries like we used to have, the snake and the mongoose. And, you know, Don Perdome and Tom McEwen, you know, they were always at each other to see who's going to be the best. And then uh, Don Garlitz would get in the mix. And, you know, they have rivalries. So who's going to beat who and Tommy mm -hmm. Ivo. And so you, you don't have that situation. I, I you don't, don't, you don't have, have that here. They're eating dinner to, together, all of them. You know who we have to introduce? Anita Mekele. Mekele, yeah, that's what Anita it was. Anita Mekele. Anita Mekele. is first name. Yeah. I right. see. Well, we have to have Anita meet Faye from uh, All Girls Garage because yeah. Faye's, Faye loves chickens. She has that's pet true. chickens. Yes. There's, there's you know, she doesn't eat them. She has them as pets. pets. Okay. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a television show called All Girls Garage with Faye okay. and, and Bogey. And they're both ladies that work on cars and they do everything. They're very, and Faye has her own shop. So does Bogey. Bogey works on high-end BMWs and, and things of that nature, but they have a show where they work on hot rods and muscle cars and things mm -hmm. of that nature called All Girls Garage. So okay. this would be a, a great combination. Get those three and mm -hmm. uh, Anita as well. Yeah. Maybe well, we bring Anita some year over. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, they do have, I, you do have, uh, what TV would be out there? Would it be Sky TV that has uh, Motor Trend and all that? Do you guys ever know. watch those shows back uh, where you are? No, yeah. on, the, on the web, maybe. But we have oh, Discovery. Okay. Discovery, yeah. okay. Okay, Discovery. Discovery TV. You see, Discovery see. TV in Europe, I think, is more car-oriented than with us. See here with us, it's we get naked and afraid. That's basically what we get. So we have that too. No, not yeah, personally. I, I get the same thing from Peg every night. It's Hi oh, <laughs> <ba -dum -bum. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bob Beck, ladies and gentlemen, he'll yeah. be here all show. Uh, all right. <laughs> and one one thing when when you're talking about drag racing in Sweden, yeah, and other countries, uh, we have Swedish drag racers in the U.S. Yes. And Norwegian. Do you know who he is? Not off the top of my head. I know I've seen a few of them and I've seen some of their cars, but I, I don't. Some I don't... young guy won two years in a row the World Championship. The World Championship? In top you're metal. NHR, you're talking about NHRA? Yeah. yeah. Top alcohol. Top, top oh, metal kind of car. Top oh, top alcohol. I Top, call top alcohol, alcohol funny car. Top alcohol, we call it. But they okay. run ethanol. And funny car. Funny car. And no, I, you know, unfortunately, I Johnny didn't Lindbergh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that name's oh, from there. Oh, okay. yes. Young guy. Yeah. And he had, he was hired by Head Racing to drive the. Right. He was working for Jim car. Head. Yeah. 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 Now okay. it's back in uh, top alcohol again. Okay. Well, it's nice to see that somebody moved from your racing. Did he, I take it he raced in the European drags yeah. before he came out here. Yeah. 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 Is, that, is that kind of a, uh, any type of a goal for anyone that's racing there to potentially run in NHRA here in the United States? Yeah, yeah it is. It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And so, I mean, American drag racing is the, is the top. Let me ask you this, and we've asked a lot of our guests this since the beginning of the year, and, and it's all about the pandemic and all that. How has the pandemic affected racing and just about anything else in your neck of the woods? It's affected racing really, really hard. We have not driven any European championship, not any Swedish championship, nothing. Just small 
events with no spectators. spectators. Now, I understand that uh, Santa Pods had a few races this year, uh, nothing substantial because they can't have the spectator counts that they yeah. need. Uh, have you been able to go over to Santa Pod for any of those races or is uh, the travel restrictions still in place? Travel restrictions. Yeah. Okay. So it's got to be real hard. Yeah. You've, you've got the same mm -hmm. issues that we kind of have and yeah. uh, working with our friends over there in, in Europe. So uh, you come over every year though, for the hot rod reunion when yeah. you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What made you decide to come for the hot rod reunions? I don't know. Like the, the vibes, nostalgia. Okay. Like the people there, like the area, like the track. Yeah. How many times have you come over for the race? Is it an annual thing for you or is it something that... Yes. Uh, and Sometimes twice a year, someone once a year, maybe 15 times or something. Long, long year, how many in Bakersfield? Bakersfield? Mm. At least yeah. 10. Yeah. Okay. 10 times. 10 years a road, I think. You know, right? yeah, they, Some, sometimes uh, both Morse Meet and Hot Rod Reunion. Okay. Have you guys ever been to like watch drag races in Finland or Denmark? Yeah. Or yeah. Who, has, who has the best drag strip among the countries that were be in Sweden. European? Sweden does? Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. Okay, let me ask that question. What? Who has the Sweden? Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> hey, that's true. We have a recently built uh, arena in the south of Sweden. Okay. It's a it's a bit like an American arena. Tier Arena. You can Google it. Now, is it an arena or a drag strip? Now, when we hear arena, we think of like a stadium kind of thing where people. Yeah. So. No. Oh, it's a drag racing with the big grandstands for I think okay. twenty thousand people or something like that. Right. Okay, so it's strictly drag racing. They don't have a road race course or circle track. Yeah, they try to do that too. Okay. All right. Now you say you've worked at Santa Pod. Mm. Uh, obviously, you haven't been able to do it this year, but when you do, how often do you uh, get to go to Santa Pod, and how difficult is it to get to Santa Pod from Sweden? It's not that difficult to get there. And uh, it's the FIA commission that decides how many times I can go and to, to watch country, country I will go every year. So I have been two times, three times I have been to Santa Pod. Okay. But uh, we will see next year what happens. Yeah, I think yeah, I hope. I was going to say, I think at this point, we're all kind of waiting till the end of the year and just... We're going to just yeah. take this year, throw it up in a little bundle here, toss it over our shoulder and go, yeah, yeah. yeah the world <laughs> was 2019 and then 2021. I don't know right. what happened to the year in between. We kind of want to get rid of that year and move exactly. on. To, hopefully we get a fresh start next year. Yeah. So, all right. So what's on the horizons for you car wise? Any uh, particular cars you want to have that you don't already have? Of course. <laughs> well, do well, you I have a list? Everybody's got a list. No, I don't, yeah. cars. I don't know. It, it changes every week. <laughs> <laughs> Fickle, are you? <laughs> yeah. So what What are the two top that you'd like to have? I some some sometime some uh, day. someday. I really want to have a black Chevy Fifty Nine Bel Air. I was hoping he was going to say black Fifty you know, Corvette Fifty Nine Bel Air. $59. He wants to with, cats, with the cat size tail Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. With red interior. Of course. Of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's Black a, with a big money car. Yeah, even here they are. Yeah. Yeah. They're really desirable now. Uh, mm -hmm. What would you, what would be the second car? A pickup truck from. Probably uh, one more. Truck. You don't have yeah. enough of those. Yeah, you don't have enough pickup, pickup trucks. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a poor guy now. I only have three pickups. <laughs> only three pickups. Yeah, only three. I only have three pickup lines. That's basically yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We go a bar with a pickup line, and they go, "Yeah, right. You're an old guy. Pick at you." Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Jessica, what would you like to be driving? You've got your 55. What would be the next car for you? 
Well, you know, I'm pretty happy with my 55, so. <laughs> oh, I, come I, on. Think, think, expand your horizon. Is there any other car out there that, that you, you would, that if, you, if money was no object, or what classic would you get? That Jonas would buy you. <laughs> that one. Smiling. That one. We can't see no. that one. <laughs> That's a good one. That That's one. a good one? What, what is the good one? What is he pointing at? What is she pointing at? The, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, Garden, graffiti 32 Ford. Oh, yeah. oh wow. And, you know, uh, I can't say it loud because it's a it. Ford and we only have Chevys on the farm, so... Well, but it's got That's a Chevy right. engine. It's built for a tough and a bunch course, of yeah. stuff. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the, your go-to snack food at home? What do you guys snack on food-wise? If, if <laughs> I know this sounds a little odd, but what is that? He's holding up almond. something that looks like an almond. Is that yeah, what that is? exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right, now... By Why the way, this explain? visual is tough to go with our listeners, but that's all right. We'll go with this. <laughs> last this year, for our last video year, listeners. That's it. What last about year you? when you came in, you, you gave me a can of something that you had difficulty exporting. Oh, that exporting. was good. That was good. Explain what that was in that can. Did you like it? I haven't <laughs> tried it yet. Peg's got it hidden. <laughs> Tell us about that because you Ferment, had some Fermented herring. Fermented herring. Okay. Yeah. Now, hey. My family grew up with that stuff. No, wait a minute. That's different than pickled, pickled herring. herring. Pickled herring Absolutely. is herring that's pickled to preserve it. Mm -hmm. Fermented herring is, how do I put this politely? You get <laughs> preserving it. Is that right? Not preserving it. It's in its natural state. Um, yeah. Less a bit of an aroma. in a can. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's not what was in the can, but you had to explain because the can said it was that it really wasn't. No. Maybe it was candy. It. it was candy. That's right. All right. Yes. I did open it up. Yes, I did. But seriously, do people there eat fermented herring? Yeah. Some of them. Not you. No. I do. You do. Yeah. And Jessica stays away from you when you do. <laughs> not in this house. No, no. You, you, you don't eat it inside. No. Oh, okay. You always eat it outside. Outside. So when you go fishing, you take along the fermented herring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody could have bad breath, Marge, but when. <laughs> but by the way, I did not bring this up, but uh, thanks to you, Jonas, you helped me track down a car I sold. Yeah. And it's in Sweden, and I have posted about this before. You can look it up on uh, Talking About Cars. On, um, I, I would imagine I did it a while back, but I sold a 64 Dodge Polara. I couldn't find it. I was always interested in what happened to it. And, Yo and Jonas tracked it down thanks to a Facebook site. And now I'm bugging them because I want them to come on the show and tell me what they did to the car. <laughs> yeah. I wrote to one Perfect. guy. I wrote to one guy and he hasn't answered. I wrote to the next guy and I even did it in English and then I ran it through an English to Swedish dictionary and he oh. hasn't answered. So what? I don't it's know. Maybe, translation program. Yeah, the translation do want, program. Do you want help with that? Ah. Well, I was gonna <laughs> yeah. say maybe if you happen to, you know, contact somebody or you know, I could give you the guy's name, you can touch base with them and I'll give you producer credit. <laughs> Perfect. And, yeah. we do, and do an interview yeah. with them. Yeah, we could do an interview with them yeah. and, and talk about like what, what he's planning to do with the car because obviously uh, he's got he's painted Dodge Ram Chargers on the side and all that. It looks like he's going to be racing that thing. And, and to be honest, that car originally was a racer at uh, near Long Beach. There is a, there's an area cool. there. And I'm, I'm slipping on what it was called. You've been listening, of course, to the Talking About Cars podcast. Don't forget, listen to our audio podcast, which a lot of you are doing right now on radio.com and knx1070.com. Watch our video podcast on our new Two Tired Guys productions channel. That's what Bob has over his other shoulder. There you go, Bob. Uh, let's see. Uh, you subscribe to both. That would be helpful. And follow us on social media. We're on YouTube and um, Facebook and 
Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. And what are the other things? Oh, you're on other things. We're huh? on uh, Anchor FM. Anchor FM. And what's the matter? Anchor FM. Blogger. Take us. Trump, Tumblr. I'm sorry. Pinterest. Okay. Uh, and all that stuff. And, and all that stuff. Well. So don't forget, become a Two Tired Guys patron. Until next time, I'm Randy. That's Bob. That is Jessica. That's Jonas. And having fun talking about cars. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody.